Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So we have a new dev vlog out about Bounty Hunter and it's about the rewards from Bounty Hunter. And a lot of people were the... Well, first of all, the uh, the Bounty Hunter target system actually did pass, so we will be seeing that in game. But a lot of people have been complaining about th how ha it has no extra rewards and that makes it kind of pointless really. And so they're talking about what possible rewards it could have that would be not overpowered and not like mess up the game, but would also be like make it worth doing. So they have a few different ideas, and uh, they talk about first how they are learning from the past what not to do basically with the whole statuettes and EP and 76k and all that stuff. Most of you guys probably know what that was if you were around back in those days. But basically it was just a way to get a lot of cash and items into the game really easily that shouldn't have been in the game at all. And it ended up driving down prices of a lot of stuff and inflating the economy and stuff like that. So that was bad, and they definitely are not going to do that again. But their proposed solution is something called emblems, and emblems are small icons that sometimes drop by your target when you successfully score a kill, and they're only dropped by your target with Bounty Hunter. And what you can use them for is to exchange for um, points, which you can buy items from a PvP store. And the emblems will be tradable, so that means that whenever you get an emblem for, as a drop from another player, then you can sell it to other players and it'll probably wor be worth a decent amount of money and um, so you can use the emblems to buy items from the PvP store and they say the shop should ideally provide handy shortcuts and resources that are applicable only within the realms of the wilderness and provide benefits centered around the wilderness rejuvenation content and wi wider wilderness both in the bounty hunter and non-bounty hunter worlds so basically you'll be able to buy items that will that will help you out in the wilderness but whether it be with PvP or with skilling or PvM all that stuff that's in the wilderness really it, it will just end up helping you out so it may end up being things like special potions that you can only use in the wilderness that will end up being a bit more powerful some, something like that actually that itself might be kind of overpowered but I'm sure they'll think of some interesting ideas and we'll probably get a lot of them from players even and then they'll probably pull all of this and pull what rewards should be in the game but um it seems like a pretty decent idea, and like Bounty Hunter definitely does need to have some extra rewards, or there's really not really any point in doing it. Like, cosmetic gear would be cool, but there wouldn't be that many people that would be interested in it, and it would end up just not being that popular and be kind of a waste of development time. But the next thing they talk about is kill streaks, and what a kill streak is is just killing multiple players in a row in, in uh, the Bounty Hunter worlds without dying or, or leaving the wilderness. So if you go into the wilderness and kill like five people in a row, then you have a five kill streak. And what they're saying is that if you have an emblem and you get a kill streak, then each time you kill another player, your emblem your emblem will improve its value and um, or upgrade. Uh, it'll upgrade the emblem. And the higher the kill streak, the more the emblem will be worth if you get out of the wilderness alive. If you die with an emblem, then the person who kills you will get it if you were their target. If not, then I don't think they will. So it's sort of the, um, as they said on here, it's, it's time to balance ability against greed, as any emblems you have in your inventory will always be dropped on death. So the more kills you could get, the more it'll be worth, but it'll be, uh, you'll have to get out of the wilderness with it at some point or else you're just going to lose it. And then an another thing they talk about is multi-kills in accolades. I think that's how you pronounce this word, I don't even know. Um, but it seems like some sort of like title system. Um, it's double kills, triple kills, mine, all mine, and it'd be rude not to. Um, and it looks like you'll be getting, like, at least for the double and triple kills, you'll be see a little, like, multiplier next to your uh, skull, your PK skull. Um, but I don't really know what these actually will be, whether they'll be, like, titles or something, but they say that it's kind of confusing in here what exactly they w will be. But something to show off, basically, I think. Just like motivate players to actually go and play the content and unlock things and stuff like that so that's really all about about it and the main thing is just the emblems and how the kill streaks will improve the emblems they haven't said what the PvP store will sell yet so we'll probably see that in the future but I think this is some pretty good ideas for how we can make bounty hunter a little bit a little bit better because right now it would be kind of pointless if it just came into the game and didn't have any extra rewards not many people would actually end up playing it most likely um, but obviously we don't want to go to the other extreme and have tons and tons of coins coming into the game and end up just destroying the economy. So, I think that's a pretty good solution and uh, we'll have to see what the players think about this. But I'm pretty content with that. I don't, I mean obviously I'm not really a PvP player so I probably won't be partaking in the uh, Bounty Hunter anyways. But 
hopefully people that are PvP oriented will be happy to uh, have some extra rewards and actually find Bounty Hunter worth playing. So I guess that's about it for this video guys, hopefully you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. I apologize that I've been constantly stuttering this video, it's just that I'm friggin exhausted. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.